Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new NOLA from Ellen Villa in the color Toffee Brown Rooted. Right now I am wearing a spree also by Ellen Villa in the, ch in the color Chocolate chocolate lighted <laughs> i keep forgetting i purchased both my wigs at wig studio one and i will leave them linked for you down in the description box besides reviewing nola which is launching today may 1st i am also going to do a, a short comparison to a couple of other ellen villa styles that i feel are similar to nola when i attended the webinar uh, that Ellen Villa provided regarding these new styles that are launching today, they said that NOLA is very similar to a spree, which is, as I said, what I'm wearing right now, and that it's also similar to Stella if you were to straighten it. Let me tell you a little bit in case you're not familiar with the spree. A spree has a higher price point than NOLA does. It is also a partially hand-tied cap. It runs, I would say, true average. We have a extended lace front, we have synthetic fibers, and we have a left mono part. However, because we have a hand-tied uh, hand cap, even though we have a left mono part, due to the hand-tied, we can certainly part it on the right. You see that? Beautiful lace front, excellent coverage. Let me give you a spin so you could see a spree on all sides. I haven't done anything to a spree. This is the way it came out of the box. I have, this a spree is probably about a year, a year and a half old, maybe even longer. I don't remember when it was first launched. I have wa washed it a few times and it's a wig that I wear often. All right, I'm going to slip on Nola, and we're going to talk a little bit about, oh, let me show you the cap first before we talk about it. With Nola, just like on Esprit, we're going to have synthetic fibers, an extended lace front that goes from ear tab to ear tab. We have a left mono part. However, with Nola, you're not going to have the hand tied, so we can't, it doesn't have the multi-directional parting as we find on a spree. They don't market it that way. That's just my take on it. Felt covered ear tabs. We have an extended nape and we have uh, a weft cap that a spree is from the Hair Society collection and NOLA is from the Modix collection. This is NOLA right out of the box. As you can see, we're going to have some differences than we have on a spree. What Ellen Villa states is that if you want a style that's similar to a spree, you want to save the money, probably right around the neighborhood of $200, you may want to consider NOLA because the measurements are very similar and we have that left part. We have a beautiful lace front, even on this darker color, toffee brown shaded but we don't have those waves. I'm going to insert a picture up on the corner here of the stock photo for NOLA. You're going to notice that on the stock photo, it's going to have waves just as we find on a spree. It doesn't come out of the box that way. If you wanted to achieve those waves as we find on the stock photo, you're going to have to use steam. And what they recommended was a perhaps rods add on the rods. These are not heat friendly fibers, so you can't use a hot tool. You can't, you can't use a curling iron, for example, but you can use the rods and you can steam, let it cool completely, add some more steam with the rods in, let it cool completely, wait about 24, 48 hours, and you should have the waves as we find in the stock photo or on a spree. A spree weighs 2.5 ounces. NOLA weighs 2.9 ounces. We have a very, very light density piece in both styles. With a spree, you're not going to have any permatease. It's a hand-tied cap. 
With NOLA, we have the tiniest, tiniest bit of permatease to the right of the left mono part, but it's minimal. It's a very low density wig. And I'd say that if you want something for your everyday, a real throw and go, NOLA is just going to work perfectly for you. I think it's great. Personally, I, I, I don't do those changes <laughs> with the rods and the steam and all of that. But if you wanted to save the money and you don't mind adding the rods, adding the steam, then certainly NOLA is the way to go. Here is the ear tab and my hairline. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and I didn't cinch in the adjusters. With my other styles that I have from the Modix collection, I probably have six, seven, eight styles from the Modix collection. I feel those run true average. For whatever reason, I didn't find the same thing with NOLA. I found it to run petite average. I didn't cinch it in. So just something to keep in mind. If you have a 21, I would say a 21 and a half inch or less, it's going to fit you fine. If you have a 21 and three quarters or higher, you may have some difficulty with NOLA and may want to consider perhaps one of the other styles that I'm going to show you that are comparable to NOLA. The measurements on NOLA, we have a front of eight inches. We have a crown of nine and a quarter inches. The sides are seven and a half inches. The nape is four inches. The measurements on the styles on a spree, as well as the other two that I'm going to show you are very close. They're very similar. There's an inch or less of a difference. You're going to have the same kind of shattered, razored cut. The other style that I wanted to compare to compare it to is with Nerano. I have my I have Nerano in middle gray shaded, and with Nerano, we're not we're going to get more of a bob style, but the measurements are going to be very similar. These are also traditional synthetic fibers, just as we find on Nola. We also have a left part, and we have a. Uh, we have a left mono part and we have a temple to temple lace front instead of the extended lace front. Again, minimal permatease and light density. I'm going to slip on Nerano so you can see the difference on it. Nerano is also from the Modix collection. Unlike Nola, it runs a little bit larger. So if you have a true average, you shouldn't have any problem with Nerano. The measurements are very close. They're very similar. The difference is going to be the crown on Nola is going to be 10. I'm sorry. The crown on Nerano is 10 and a half inches while on Nola it's nine and a quarter inches. So we do have a little bit of more length on the back of, of Nerano. But as far as the style is concerned, we have a very similar style, very similar measurements same synthetic fibers, but it runs a little bit larger. We don't have that razor is the word I'm looking for. We don't have that razor cut as we find on NOLA. The last style that I'm going to compare NOLA um, to for you is going to be Leah 2. Leah is, has heat friendly fiber. So that is our first biggest difference where the other three that I've shown you have regular synthetic fibers. Leah two has heat friendly fibers. If you do not want heat friendly fibers, you want regular synthetics, then Nola or Nerano may be one to consider. It also has a left mono part and the lace front is is an is extended just like on nola we have an extended lace front so it goes from ear tab to ear tab and we have the same kind of uh razored edge as we find on some of the others i love leah too i think it is perfection i had the first leah and i was kind of disappointed with the little tiny lace front that it had that mini lace kind of like in the corner right where the part is and when they uh, when they launched Leah 2, I was very excited. With Leah 2, we have the front is 
very similar to the others. It comes in at nine and a quarter. So just a little bit longer on the front than NOLA, probably by about an inch. And the other measurements are about the same. Leah 2 does weigh a little bit more than the others at 3.6 ounces. Leah 2, again, very minimal permatees. And we have a lighter density. Leah 2 is from the Changes Collection. This is the one that is probably going to run the largest along with a spree. That's from the Hair Society Collection. Even though a spree has a partially hand-tied cap, I feel that it runs pretty large. I had to cinch it in quite a bit, probably about a quarter of an inch on either side in order to uh, be able to have a proper fit. And I'm wearing a wig cap and I'm wearing a wig grip. Leah 2 from the Changes Collection runs very similar. It runs a true average if you have 22 inches and you're considering a um, an Ellen Villa, I say either a Spree or Leah 2 or Nerano, any one of those will fit perfectly. My NOLA is in Toffee Brown Shaded. The color code for Toffee Brown Shaded is 830.27. And that is a medium brown blended with a light auburn and dark strawberry blonde. I want to point out that the color code for Chocolate Lighted in the Hair Society collection is also 830.27. Here's the difference. 830.27 is chocolate lighted and the lighted indicates that there is more of that 27. So you're going to see that more of that strawberry blonde where we're not going to have it on the uh, toffee brown shaded. So just something to keep in mind whenever you see that lighted in the um, Ellen Villa styles, just be aware that you're going to have more highlights on the color than if it just, for example, on toffee brown shaded, even though it's the same color combination, the 830 and the 27, the 27 is going to be more, um, there's going to be more of an abundance of it on the chocolate lighted. Nevertheless, if you're a brunette and you want a, a warm brunette, you want a little bit of brightness to it, you want a little bit of highlights, in the auburn and the straw and the dark strawberry blonde, but you don't want it to be heavily highlighted. I think that toffee brown shaded is a beautiful color. Who is the style for? I think this style is if you want one of the if you're undecided between these styles that I have shown you, if you want to save a little bit of money, then absolutely go with Nola. And it if you have a smaller size, a smaller circumference. 20, uh, 21 and a half or smaller, you may want to consider going with NOLA. If you just want these kind of shattered waves, if you will, and the budget is permitting it, I would say go with the spree. And if you like the heat friendly fibers because you want to change the style on it, you want to have waves one time and straight another time, then obviously Leah too. If you want something that's a little bit longer, you want regular synthetic fibers, then the um, Nerano is the one to go for. It's really just a matter of preference. All right, let's go outside so you could see Toffee Brown shaded out in the daylight and then I'll come back. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Let me know what you think about NOLA. Let me know what you think.